Hey traders, hope we're all having a, a lovely Tuesday. Now I'm just doing, uh, you know, the main, pardon me guys, look at this, I love how they all just sort of, <sighs> I watch too much YouTube. Now, uh, the New Zealand dollar trade is in a little bit of drawdown. Um, it has retraced nicely. So we saw this was on Monday and it made a nice bullish move on Monday. And I say time and time again, typically what will happen on Monday market movement wise is indicative of the opposite of what will happen for the rest of the week. Rest of the week to me is a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So sorry guys, it was Instagram going off. Now, so I mean, how I see this playing out is it's either going to get back to the entry, uh, and once it gets to the entry, uh, you know, I might have to call it, you know, well, if, if it does move quickly, uh, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna close this out. I have a tendency to do that mainly when it's in profit, but, um, you know, it's teased the stop loss a little bit, but I'm just going to let this play out. And then if it floats around entry for a while for the next week coming, then I might have to, you know, close it. But I mean, at risk is not even 1%, so I still have one more bullet. Mm. Okay, so this is bounced off that. And it's back down again. So I'm sort of glad that's happened. No real mistrade there. I'm looking at the charts a bit later than I normally would. I went out tonight, so from the pound. I mean, that's <sighs> where are we trading at? So, would it uh, might not have triggered? Might not have triggered. So, pound no trade for the yen. Like a double top. This is so choppy. <laughs> oh, that's the uh. God, it's amateur out for me. Jesus Christ. No, it, it's got to break lower through there. So that's that's a no trade. I mean, it's down trading a little bit, which is nice. But, um, and the loony, loony, USD Canadian. Okay, interesting. We've got potential. we got potential, but, you know, to me, this is a critical error. So, I mean, if I take the cell, it's just going to, and then... Uh, look, I mean, how you could play this, that's on a four hour, it's just, that needs to be below. So that's a no trade on the cat as well. And I think that's about it. What about the Swissy token majors oh, on the Euro? Sorry, guys, the Euro, what am I doing? I'm trial. And no trade. So I was looking for that to break here and it just hasn't, hasn't had enough. I do see this collapsing a little bit, uh, with some, Economic data coming out of the US, the Jackson Hole stuff. So, sorry if I mispronounced that. Not some, it sounds like that. I've, I don't really follow fundamentals. I just understand the fundamentals. It's sort of like the fuel, you know, and the, and the match is the, the price action. And, and it, they work hand in hand, but I don't, I really look at the technicals first and then, you know, but obviously that it's, you know, there's more potential for a downside move here. So it, there's, there's nothing high probability set up. So I'm just not going to take these trades. Um, I'm just back to the Kiwi trade that I've got on. Uh, you know, I mean, look, it's, and now it's undecided. So it's just going to have to uh, move lower. I mean, we need to see some Kiwi weakness. And later on in this week, we'll see what happens. And I'm just going to let it play out. You know, so that's, I got in here and it, it, um, no, sorry, I got in there. God, that's my stop loss. Um, I got in here. So it's really spent not much time in profit. So, but anyway, guys, that's, uh, my analysis for Tuesday night. Thank you for watching. And I'll put a, another video up in a little bit.